Hello and welcome to Kittrick Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV, Upper Mississippi River Valley. And today we're going to be tackling this alfalfa field here real quick. I've been put some thought into this and I think we're going to bail this like we did the clover field uh, for a few reasons. One is I don't feel like uh, editing the map to support the uh, pickup on the forage harvester. And a big part of that is because we are going to be replacing that forage harvester here soon, I think, as well. I, uh, I've i got my eye on an upgrade for that as we get into corn silage especially. That's going to be a big thing. So I'm going to jump in here and we're going to do what I did on the clover field, which is take a cutting of the grass around here just to clean things up, make sure we don't have any cross-contamination. And this is going to let me then uh, jump into the... Uh, alfalfa here with the mower and mow that all up hopefully even with a hired worker and to just uh, knock this out this is a nice straight uh, field that's going to be a lot easier I think to uh, tackle than our last one and so this should go uh, really fast I don't think we're going to have to spend a whole episode uh, messing around with this if we're lucky and I think Honestly, though, I think our next job is going to be to cut the uh, big grass field that we've got on the other side of the house there as well. And then, um, I can't remember, did we do all of our spraying already? I think we did. I think we got out here in the spring and hit all of our spraying. So we're really getting close to uh, silage harvest being our next big activity, I think. We've got a couple of months left to go on growing out the corn before we can jump into that, obviously. But... Uh, we're getting close, we're getting close. I think we're gonna have to do some selling here soon and we're getting mighty close to that water. Uh, we, we do have the soybeans left in the bins to sell off, I think. So uh, just a couple of things left to do over the summer here. We're keeping our eye on things. We're keeping the pacing going here and we're gonna just uh, keep knocking stuff out. This farm is actually starting to progress quite nicely here for us. That's gonna do it for the grass we're gonna pull this right across the road to get it out of our way for a moment and I'm gonna jump into let's think let's just jump right into the baler I already moved the forage harvester up into the yard I wasn't even thinking about why I'd left it out here along the uh, edge of this field originally and we do have clover hay in the baler right now I think it's gonna figure this out though so let's jump over here and see what happens. I'm going to make the attempt to go along like this. And yeah, it just switched right over to hay. Perfect. We'll get uh, bouncing along here. We've got quite a bit of grass on the uh, sides here. This ditch grass is actually doing better than I thought it would. We're getting some pretty decent volume off of it. And uh, let's uh, give it the little back up here. Dump our bale off. Good deal. I was kind of waiting for a big clunk when it closed, but uh, not quite. I would love for there to be some kind of uh, audible cue for me. I'm never quite sure when it's closed. And hopefully we're not missing too much as we come around like this. We're going to jump out and take a look. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. I shouldn't have doubted myself. We might leave a couple of small little bits here and there, but for the most part, we seem to be tackling this without uh, too many difficulties. And we're already up to our second bale. Very good. And it should be good to go. Hopefully those bales aren't rolling down the hill anywhere crazy. I've got to keep track of how many there were so that we can make sure we track them all down. After we get this all bailed up, I think we're going to get uh, at least one more full bale off of this. And then probably have some more sitting in the baler when we're all said and done. That's all right. And of course, right up as we get next to the narrow edge with the water here is where we need to create the next bale. That's just my luck. And uh, yeah, it's soggy over here. Realistically, I would not be dragging a baler through the uh, slush like this probably. 
I would definitely not want to get stuck sitting down there in that swampy area. Luckily, the bales seem to have behaved themselves. Nothing has gone flying off of the uh, field here or anything from what I can see. And we're really close to another full-size bale here at uh, 76%. So when we do get around to switching over to the alfalfa, I think that's going to just switch right into being alfalfa here for us. Um, let's see here. We need to uh, get these three bales off of the field at some point. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. We can uh, pick them up when we pick up the alfalfa bales. And as long as they didn't roll off into the pond, I think we're all good. So with that said, let me go ahead and grab the mower again here. We're going to get all of this alfalfa mowed up. We'll rake it up and we'll bale it up. of this field I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, mower off of the field and we're gonna jump into the rake and uh, just rake this up a little bit I could have been raking while I was doing that but uh, I was having so much fun watching uh, this field get made now if I remember correctly uh, this rake is about perfect width for uh, two mowing passes so I'm gonna go ahead and try and just uh, combine this together and since we're gonna be bailing, I really don't care that we got a little bit of grass mixed in with our alfalfa, because again, I'm just dumping this stuff right into the uh, barns, and that means it's just gonna get turned into hay in general. I more care about the volume of the hay than the actual type of the hay at this point, so I think we're all right. Let's get this all turned on here. Um, our next upgrades for doing this next year are definitely going to be swapping this rake out for a merger and we're going to be doing a major upgrade to our forage setups as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I've got all kinds of great ideas. I like to progress kind of naturally through growing the farm here, but I think we're finally, finally starting to make good enough money that we can really start beefing up the farm here, which is where uh, series like this tend to get a lot of fun for me. And I think, uh, I think for you guys as well, because I know uh, just looking at uh, the videos and, and stuff, you guys like to see some new equipment get added into the farm from time to time here. So uh, I always appreciate all of the comments in the videos. People have been recommending different kinds of equipment and upgrades and ideas for me to try out. Uh, much appreciated. And we're going to be, uh, you know, taking on some of those suggestions as we keep moving through on the series here. I'm going to skip a row here, I think, and try and take these down. It'll be just a little bit easier for me to turn, and I think everything will balance out right here. Uh, we've got just the right amount of uh, alfalfa here that I'm going to get. Uh, looks like three full rounds by the time I go up and back each time, so this will be great. We'll get, uh, I don't know how many bales we're going to get off of this, but enough to fill up the trailer, I suspect. Although, I guess this field is technically smaller than that other one we did, and I didn't get a full trailer over there. But we did get three full grass bales off of the end of this one, where I didn't bale the grass on the previous field. So, that might tip the scales just a little bit for us here. And we do have this old water hazard down here. I'm trying to think about how to turn around down here and get around that. I'm going to just clean up the 
headland down here just a smidge, I think, to make it easier on us. See if I can navigate this ditch without completely destroying our rake. Oh my goodness. And then drop it right back down. And we'll take these two rows that I skipped initially back up, like so. And then I can just uh, take that last round over on the other side, and we'll be good to go. I think what I'll do is jump all the way out to the outside row first and take that in uh, because we've got the uh, water there that I'll be riding back down alongside. And that'll let me kind of sneak down alongside the water and then turn back into these slightly longer rows. I think that's what's going to be the easiest down here. Let's uh, let's see. Here we go. I'm going to I'm going to skirt right up along the edge of the water here. I'm leaving the rake down so that I can hopefully uh, this isn't going to work as well as I thought. All right, I'm going to pick the rake up. We're going to just back in here and pull this away from the water edge a little bit, I think. I'd hope to be able to make that turn coming down the headland there, or what little of the headland I guess actually existed, but it just wasn't going to happen. Oh uh, well, we're on the final pass here. I think this is uh, looking good, and we'll grab that baler next. Uh, like the mower, I think I'm going to just park uh, the rake right over here on the other side of the road. I don't want to be blocking the road up too much. And let's grab the baler. There's not really a perfect place to start with this thing, so I think we're just going to jump into it. I'm going to come down here to where we've got all the miscellaneous bits. Figure if we're going to mess anything up, I might as well do it down here. We'll get it lowered. And it helps if we can actually straddle the row, but there we are. I'm going to try and clean up all the parts down here uh, first, just because might as well get the frustrating parts out of the way while you're getting started off. All right, let's take this all the way down to the end and see how many bales we're going to get. We are getting alfalfa hay off of this side now. Good deal. Nice uh, purple icon down there. Matches up with the uh, alfalfa. We're uh, making a good progress here. Already dropped off a couple of bales there. Let's just uh, finish cleaning up the uh, little bit of kind of mixed uh, grasses that we've got here on this end that I failed to do at the start. And I think we're going to be good to hit these last few rows. I've got a bit hiding under here. We left this little strip of alfalfa there. I should have just come back with the mower and knocked that out, but oh well, we've already moved it off the field at this point, and it's just a little bit not going to be worth enough to uh, trouble ourselves with at this point. And I'm a little concerned about all of that uh, mixed grass on the outside pass there. So I think we'll take that next, just because I want to make sure we're getting an alfalfa bale out of it, just for the sake of having alfalfa bales. And uh, that way, if we're over there picking up grass and it does switch to hay, we've got a little bit more alfalfa we can pick up to switch it right back. And honestly, this was a pretty narrow row when we mowed it anyway, so you can see the windrow is quite a bit smaller than we had in the middle parts of the field there, so we're not quite getting as much of a bale off of this. That's all right. There we are. One last pass to go, and we're going to be all done with our baling for the time being. I think I'm going to jump into the row here, though, and take this on the way down just so I don't have to try and turn so tight in next to the water there. There we go. And I have to say, this little tractor and the baler, they do knock this out pretty fast. We're making a good time. I love uh, when a job has you running 10, 11 miles an hour. I've lost track of how many bales we've created here, though, so far. Uh, we've got the one on the end there. We might get one last bale off of this. I'm not quite sure yet. It's going to be close. But uh, it's looking like maybe no. We're going to get right into the 90s, but I don't think it's going to let me dump a partial bale. Oh, we got it. Look at that. I'd rather have 
the partial bale and that little sliver of uh, material left. That was perfect. Couldn't have asked for better timing on that. So I'll go ahead and swing back around and just pick that up to clean it up off of the field. But uh, yeah, we're going to be good to go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bales total off of this field. I can't remember if our trailer holds eight or nine, but uh, either way, that's a good amount of bales. We'll get this baler back up here into the yard. We'll continue stacking all this equipment up, I think, right here on the grass next to the uh, silos, just because I want to get those uh, bales all picked up and brought back up into this barn and kind of take stock of how much material we're going to have in there for our new cows. All right, I've got these all loaded up here. It looks like we probably could have gotten uh, one more a bale off of this field, but that's all right. Or not off of the field, but onto the trailer. But that's all right. We still did pretty good. And as you can see, the alfalfa bales are quite a bit more voluminous. Uh, they weigh more tonnage, so the d material must be uh, denser, at least based on the stats here in the farm sim. So we're going to run with that, and hopefully that's going to result in a higher degree of feed as we move it into our cow barn here. I'm trying to be a little bit more careful as I pull into this barn this time. I think I can just squeeze in here with this trailer. It's a long trailer, but uh, we can get in here. It works pretty good. And then I'm going to pull through and back up a bit. Um, I honestly, I should have come in this through from the other side because I think this is going to dump them the other way when I go to unload here. So let's, uh, let's see how this is going to work if I can get my camera to behave for me. I think I push a V. Oh, that bar goes right through the piping. So yeah, if I'd gone the other way, that would have been a lot better for us. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll get it pulled out here into the yard and then I'm just gonna go in and uh, see if we can roll this bale into the uh, animal pen. There we go, 126,000 liters of food in there now. That's going to be enough to keep those young cows fed for quite some time, I think. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. I think that's going to be a good way to use up that material, given that it's not in a state that I could use it in my TMR mix easily right now. And so we're going to run with that. I'm going to just uh, park this up here for now. And let's take a quick look at where we're at with everything. I've got a fair amount of food here. We're getting close to that reproduction cycle here. So come July, we're going to have to be ready to move them over. Uh, I am running lower on food in the main barn than I am in the second barn. So we should probably get the 4440 hooked back up and make another load of food. So let's get all this baling equipment brought back down here to the shed so that we can do that. Have a nice uh, leisurely drive through the uh, cow area here. See all of our lovely cows moving around in the yard. And I think they got tired of me running them over. So they've cleared the walking path for me, which is very kind, very kind. We'll back this thing right in here. Hopefully I can uh, pull this off without too many struggles. We've got all these miscellaneous attachments for the loader and stuff back here that I always bury and then we forget about them. All right, let's run this up here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a load of TMR before I forget about it with this tractor. And then while that's uh, unloading, feeding the cows here on the barn with some uh, hired help, I think we can move the rest of the equipment up into the shed there for us. Get all hooked up here, perfect. We don't have a ton of hay here, but we've got enough to make a few more loads of TMR for sure. And we almost overran there. I think I've got just enough to put the silage in here and get TMR still. Let's see. Oh, it was close. All right. Good job. We, I, oh, it's 25%. For some reason, I thought it was 30% TMR was the uh, cutoff for silage. I needed at least 30% of the material, but it looks like it's probably 25%. So we're safe for now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and have this dump into a barn A. Gonna hit go. And I'm gonna need to move this truck here out of our way. It's uh, kind of parked right in the middle of the yard, not in the best of spots. So like the rest of the equipment, we're gonna go ahead and run this back down by the barn where we've been keeping all of our haying equipment and see about uh, cleaning up the yard a bit. We always leave all of our stuff all over the place here on the farm. And it's got a home we need to get it back into. All right, now we gotta get this uh, rake up here too. So I think we'll go the back way again. This seems to be a little bit easier than cutting through the pasture. I have to say, one of the things I like most about this uh, map so far, or our farm specifically, has been this farm layout. I like this little twisty road kind of coming down the hill here with the fences and the irrigation coming through, or the drainage, I should say. And yeah, I don't know, it's just a nicely laid out farm, has a very homey feel to it. Put my backing up skills to the test once again, see if we can get this in here without running into the baler. Seems to be uh, working out for me today. We've not had the best of luck with uh, backing things up recently, so I'm always pleased when it works out for a change. We're going to go ahead and I think just leave the 7810 sitting down here for now. Most of the things I use it for happen to be in that shed. And let's come back up here. I think we've got about all of the miscellaneous stuff up here taken care of. And we got to put the mower away and then we'll be ready to, I think, run one more thing of feed down to one of these uh, sets of animals. I don't know which one just yet. Now that I think about it, before we put this away, I probably should have just gone out and checked the other field to see if it was ready to be mowed yet. Uh, I'm going to walk over here at least while we're thinking of it. That looks pretty close to ready, although it looks... is it the same? I don't know. This, You guys will have to let me know in the comments. I think I'm going to let this go one more stage. I think there's another stage after this. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But it looks like, I, I mean, I could definitely mow it, but it just looks like there may be one more growth stage. I'm not sure. I haven't played with it enough to know with certainty, so we are going to test it out because that's what I like to do. Just taking a quick look at our animals, it looks like I've got 90,000 in here, 92,000 in here. So we're actually pretty good on that. I'm going to let this go. And we're going to allow time to move forward now. Uh, start moving in towards July, I think. And that'll give us a little bit of a time to see if this grass is going to grow up another stage or not. And honestly, I just kind of like moving the time forward as we complete some jobs. Our end of year cycle here, not looking too bad. Around, right around 10k in costs every year or every every year every night and our morning milking dollars should still be coming in close to 20,000 yep pretty close a little bit less so on average we tend to pick up about ten thousand dollars a uh, a day a little bit less than that but round numbers that's kind of what I've got in my mind and I'm just looking over here. I didn't see this grass change any. I don't know if it will change again until July, if it was going to change. I don't know if I want to wait that long or not. I'm kind of thinking it through. Our next major activity is to sell off the soybeans here in July. So we are waiting for July in general right now. I don't think we've got any other activities on the farm left at the moment. Just keeping an eye on the cows here they've got feed reproduction is uh not quite ready yet that happens in july as well july is going to be a big month for us so i think what we're going to do is just let the time keep going forward here i'm going to make a couple loads of feed because that's going to get us into uh, july and then we'll go from there 
all right we have finally moved into july here and we've got our standard uh monthly costs here i'm gonna wait till the light comes up i'm super curious we've got so many things i just unlocked a cowherd achievement as well so i think that indicates that we've got a fair amount of cows here now i'm gonna back the time down a little bit i don't like the uh haze here but let's go see how many cows we've got now. Boom, look at that. We have a whole bunch of these new baby cows that have not yet hit puberty. So we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get all these cows moved over to the other barn. Um, a great question. I wish there was a way I could just uh, do it through the interface here. I think we're going to have to buy a trailer. Uh, to get these moved over so that's on the top of our list for uh, next episode here I think um, because I think that's going to take a minute so we're going to be moving them into this barn when we get a chance what else were we keeping an eye out for today the other big thing in July is our soybeans should be getting pretty close to ready to sell here which it looks like they are we're at uh, three hundred and sixty thousand dollar value out of a max potential of three seventy one. I'm liking those prices. If we just look here, I could totally be getting the train to send them up to Minneapolis. I think is going to be the plan. So let's go ahead and see how many loads that's going to be. I've got the semi all set up over here, I think. We're going to load up our soybeans and start uh, trucking them down here to the train at 131,000 liters. That's going to be more than a couple of trips, I think. There we go. This trailer holds right around a thousand bushels. Very nice. And I do have a railroad silo dump destination, so we'll go ahead and fire it off on that. I want to see if it's going to be able to handle that. And... Railroad silo dump. This is going to be farm bin site, and this is going to be soybeans. In theory, Auto Drive should be able to make the rounds here on getting all of our grain down there. I should have probably just been doing that in uh, the month of June while we were waiting, but we've still got some time. The price is still coming up here, so I think it makes sense to start hauling it down there. And once we've got all the soybeans down there, we can complete our contract. We pulled, I don't even know how many uh, liters we had in here, 127,000 maybe? I don't know. But we pulled quite a few liters out of here, but nowhere near uh, the total amount. So we're going to make a few trips down there and uh, we'll check back in once we've got all the crops down at the railway station here. While the trucks are running down there, I'm taking a look at this grass field. This didn't seem to change any as we moved into July, so I think we probably could have just cut this back in June. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll probably go ahead and get started on cutting that field next. This one's obviously still got one more stage to go though, so we're doing good. I'm not worried about it. We've got uh, a decent amount of hay right now. Uh, where did I leave the mower? I think it's down over here now. This is going to be the first time we've mowed this field since we uh, got it all converted over to an actual field. We are going to attempt to use course play to do this one. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal because it's a nice, uh, nicely shaped field over there. There's no weird obstacles or anything. And in fact, this one that we're driving through now, I'm hoping next time will be a nicely shaped field as well. We removed all the trees and stuff. I always forget how tightly these things turn. I did not intend to nearly run into our barn there for sure. This is one of those situations where it feels kind of weird to drive through our front yard to get over to this field that we're going to maintain, but it is what it is. And if we just look here, I should be able to just slap down a field position marker right in the corner here. Generate course, one tool. Two headlands should be more than enough for what we're doing. Generate. Uh, it wants to do them at an angle. I'd rather have it do them at a straight. So let's see what that does for us. I think that's going to look a lot better. And here we go. All right, he should be off. I think this is going to work fine. 
And once he's done, we'll be able to get out here and rake this up and all that good stuff. And of course, this uh, course is a little bit uh, troubled. So I'm going to take the opportunity to try and fix this up while we're here because we've got a few more of these to go. I think if I can just uh, make this turn a little bit better, we're going to have a much better time here. All right, that should do it. We'll see how this works out. I don't know. I could probably have gone in the other side. I might have to re-record this whole course at some point. I'm trying to avoid that, though, because I'm lazy. Either way, he should start dumping and be able to make it back up to the farm on his own now. So let me go ahead and tab around here until we find our... Uh, 7810 here, get rid of all the annoying auto drive stuff, and we might as well just grab that rake and bring it on out to the field. That's the next job we've got to do anyway. We'll see if we can just knock this hay out here real quick. It's not going to be but a uh, couple minute job. And it looks like the mower's already made it around and is on the uh, second headland pass so let's go ahead and just uh dive into this i can start raking the headland pass up for him and yeah he might run over it a little bit when he's uh doing his turnarounds on the up and down rows but that's all right we'll be jumping right back out here with the forage harvester to start picking this hay up pretty quickly i think this is gonna be one of the faster attempts that we do on a hay field the whole point of it was to try and uh, get all of it automated. I was going to set off a worker to do this raking, but then I decided, well, there's not going to be that many passes. I can just drive the forage harvester with the uh, forage box on it up and down these rows real quick, and we'll knock it out. There's probably only going to be maybe three wagons off of this field. I don't know. We'll find out, though. We're just about done with our headland pass here, and I think I just saw the truck pulling in around to the yard over here. So as we get up on the side of this hill, I should be able to see if he's loading up soybeans or not at the bin site here. Oh, yep, just pulled in. I see the beans dropping down out of the pipe there. Awesome. That means everything is on track. We'll just have to check in again when he gets back up by the railway station there. Make sure that we don't run into any more problems up in town. But uh, everything else seems to be going swimmingly here. So I'm going to raise this up. I think I missed a little bit over here. I'm going to swing back around and see if we can keep this guy out of the way as the mower does its thing. I can see the mower already doing up-down rows over there, which is perfect. So while we continue to haul those beans, I think it's time to get the forage harvester out. It's already hooked up, ready to go. We just need to bring it on out here to the field and start picking up some of this hay. I could have uh, finished a raking here first, but I'd rather jump into this. I'm kind of just curious to see how much hay we're going to get off of the headlands here. That'll give me a good indication of how many rounds on the field we're going to need, how many uh, times we're going to fill up the forage boxes here. And uh, that'll tell me if I have made a big mistake on whether or not we should have automated the raking. If we get partial the way down here and we've just got so much uh, hay we don't know what to do with, I may still yet set the rake off on a course play course, which would require me to wait until the mowing is done. So that's kind of where my mind is at with all this right now. Now there's so much hay here, I'm actually having a hard time picking it all up. The pickup head on this forage harvester is just a little bit narrow. And you know, that causes me a little bit of grief sometimes when we're doing this job. So I'm gonna go in cab here, see if I can focus on staying in the middle of the windrow just a little bit better. There we go, that's looking pretty nice. And we're already half full. I think we're going to just do this manually. It's going to be uh, about a wagon per pass, it looks like. So by the time I get down to the end here, it will be almost full. And uh, that's just fine with me. Uh, if I rake everything up here, we're only going to have, I don't even know, maybe six wagons total. 
I don't know, it's hard to count. The, uh truck only loaded the front hopper and not the rear hopper and is bringing it up here a half hopper at a time that's unfortunate we're gonna have to uh catch the truck when it's back up in the yard and see if we can figure out why it didn't fill up the rear hopper that makes me very sad i mean at least the course correction worked here and it's fully automated but uh we can't be driving up to town with half a hopper all right, we are out here. I brought the 4440 out with the uh, additional uh, forage box here. So I'm gonna drop that one off right there and get him out of the way. We'll get the forage harvester switched over, the good old switcheroo here. And it looks like the mower's just about done on the other side here. So I'm getting really tempted to maybe just try out automating the rake and everything like I'd originally intended to do at this point since we're not really saving ourselves any effort by uh, doing all the switching and manual driving alongside him anymore the whole intent was I could do this job while he was still mowing and we could kind of knock two things out at once but now we're probably just overly complicating things so I'm gonna finish off the manual pass I guess since we're already here and just take this back up to the other end of the field and then we'll grab that rake and figure out what we're gonna do. I will say, looking at the yield map, it looks like we're doing pretty good on this field. We've got some nice green areas there. We've got a good amount of hay coming off of the field. So I think we're, this is gonna hopefully set us for the winter months here. We came up just shy of filling this wagon up on the way back. I'm pretty sure I could have if I hadn't missed so many little bits. So, you know, we're going to just come in here and clean up the couple of missing bits. I want to get that to 100% if we can. There we go. All topped off. We've got two full hay wagons just from the outside uh, headland passes. And we're going to be able to really rock and roll on the rest of this field. So... I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, move this stuff out of the way. The swather has done its job beautifully, so it can be uh, actually completely put away. And out here, the 4440 needs to grab this uh, other wagon and bring it back up into the yard so we can start unloading these. Awesome, we've made a lot of progress today. Uh, I think we're going to probably wrap up the episode here and I will be uh, figuring out how to rake this field up and maybe we'll try out the automation for uh, picking everything up here in the beginning of the next episode. And then we're going to dive into our newly found cow situation over there with all the baby cows. I've got to figure out how we're going to get those moved into the other barn. If you have recommendations on that, let me know. And we'll be, uh, we'll be getting that done in the next episode here which should leave us all set up to jump into, uh, you know, our fall tasks or late summer tasks, some chopping and other activities. We've got a lot coming up here in a very short amount of time. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Ketterk out. And let's see here. We don't have a ton of hay. Hey, 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 hey.